so much, Acting Speaker, and I am um, very, very pleased to have the opportunity to speak today on the member for Shepparton's um, matter of public importance. And um, it's lovely to hear my friend Craig Wilson um, being acknowledged by the member for Ripon. And I certainly have been up to Ararat and um, and are very interested to see the good work that Craig is doing with the Ararat Advocate. But that is the end of me talking about Ripon. I will now talk about Wendorin. Okay. Um, I strongly support a I strongly support a strong and diverse regional media and believe that it is a key pillar of my community and more broadly a democratic society. Our local media is an important feature of Ballarat life and needs to be supported so we can continue to share our stories, raise issues and hold a mirror up to our community. We are fortunate in Ballarat and Western Victoria to have a diverse, enthusiastic and professional media landscape. I regularly engage with Win News Ballarat, Nine News Western Victoria, the Ballarat Courier, the Ballarat Times, local radio stations, 3BA, Power FM, ABC Ballarat and South West Victoria, Voice FM, and more recently News Corp's digital masthead, masthead the Ballarat News. Rather than competing for news, these journalists and outlets have their own perspectives and often depict our local stories in unique ways. Our local TV, radio and print journos, the editors, the camera operators, the photographers are engaged and care about our community. I'm thinking of reporters like the Ballarat Courier's Greg Glidden and Wind News' Geordie Wright. And it's wonderful to see young journos um, gain experience and cut their teeth in Ballarat before sometimes moving to larger cities with bigger papers and TV networks. Um, or other comms jobs like Ollie Haig, Alex Keefe and Chris Jar. Former Ballarat media train success stories include Candace White, formerly of ABC Ballarat and South West, now on the 10 Network, and Jacqueline McKenzie as Win News Watches newer as, now Jacqueline Conway is now a reporter on the 9 Network, and we often see her on our tellies, all trained in Ballarat. Our weekly free paper, The Ballarat Times, has an ethos of focusing on uplifting and positive local stories. So many of them. And The Ballarat Times, reading it every Thursday, is an opportunity for people to stay in touch with their community, check out who they know in the paper for the week. And I know lots of people love to look through and have a look. The Ballarat Times team, including locally educated and Ballarat women, Edwina Williams and Ruby Staley, do an outstanding job reporting local news and keeping us informed. The print run of 25,000 copies per week of the Ballarat Times and the Golden Plains Times dropped to around 15,000 at the height of COVID, with cafes and restaurants closed, but it's now trending up again. When, we weren't able to deliver, when they weren't able to deliver the hard copies to local senior centres, there was a spate of older people seeking assistance from family and friends so that they could work out how to access the free content online because Ballarat loves its local media and they want to access it. I was interested to learn that even um, people who used to live in Ballarat, and they might be expats around the world or just around the country, are also followers of the Ballarat Times, wanting to keep in touch with the great city of Ballarat. And it's well known that regional media provides essential services and support for regional communities during times of bushfire and, national, and natural disasters. What is often not known is the huge amount of community work that our regional media do week in, week out. For example, our Ballarat radio stations, 3BA and Power FM, have a basic philosophy that they are a part of the community and have a responsibility to care for and communicate with the people of Ballarat. As well as their annual Christmas and winter appeals, they get the message out about a dozen of they get the, help get the message out for dozens of local organisations and events each week. In fact, it's estimated that they deliver over $1 million worth of messaging free every year for community organisations. What a great thing for our community. A million dollars worth of promoting community groups in our city. 
When COVID hit us in March, they doubled down on the positive community messaging. They continuously provide uplifting messages about mental health and supporting each other while encouraging the community to stay safe and follow the guidelines. The 3BA We're Still Here campaign has provided local businesses with additional visibility and given the opportunity to promote their takeaway options or amended business hours. Such important support for local business when they need it the most. Station manager, John Fitzgibbon, places a real emphasis on the relationship between the listeners and the station. With a licence area that takes in 130,000 people, around 80,000 people tune in weekly to 3BA and Power FM. Huge numbers, absolutely huge. And I love listening. Um, I love it when listeners call in to 3BA or Power FM and whether they engage with Brett Mack or PT or Jules and Chris, they're given the opportunity to speak and heard. And that's one of the greatest things about regional radio, that local voice constantly coming through. By supporting regional journalism, we're supporting media diversity. Our local journalists work tirelessly to uncover and develop local stories for local audiences. They are professionals who corroborate the information they bring with us, the facts on issues that are central to the lives of regional Victorians. Ballarat journalist Caleb Clough is well known to anyone involved in politics in Ballarat and um, Western Victoria, says, not everyone wants to hear what a journalist says. But if we do our job properly, then we can change society for the better. We've seen an innovation by our regional media outlets to stay afloat during this very challenging time. The Ballarat Courier, which has been in circulation for over 150 years, has actively embraced the Save Our Voices campaign and run, powerfully, run powerful advertising of their journos, really delving into what it means to them. The Courier has almost 6,000 digital subscribers and approximately 30,000 unique users who access their content every day. Importantly, and this is what regional media do, the Courier made sure that additional content was offered for free about COVID during the pandemic, once again, to support our community. And according to the Courier's editor, Eugene Duffy, his aim is to show the whole of Ballarat in its complexity. So whilst there are uplifting stories about schools and families, there is also a scrutiny of government, our courts, and responsibility to cover the darker side of our community, whether it is the scourge of family violence, homelessness, drugs and alcohol. Essentially, their mission is for Ballarat to see itself. The member for Shepparton calls, a, calls on the need for both the federal government and the Victorian state government to support media diversity and provide the financial support to ensure the continued viability of our regional media. And I'm proud to say that the Andrews Labor government is doing this. We know how important the role of media is. And that is why um, in April this year, at the outset of the COVID crisis, we announced an additional $4.7 million for emergency support for our media, our regional print media to survive. The survival package was for the Victorian government advertising in over 100 media outlets with the dual goal of keeping Victorians informed and keeping strong local journalism afloat. We guaranteed that the Victorian government would book one page of print advertising and digital advertising for six months. We have delivered on this, and I have heard from local media outlets that the state government advertising through COVID has been a lifeline. Regional media supports regional identities. It supports discussion and debate over issues that are integral to the lives of regional Victorians. It creates jobs in regional areas for photographers like Kate Healy, like Lachlan Bentz, like, like Adam Trafford, as well as journalists. And it provides training, as I've already talked about, and experience for journalists to develop their skills on the ground. So in closing, I thank the member for Shepparton for raising this very important issues. Regional media is at the very heart of regional communities. And at this pivotal time, we must support it as it supports us. As the Courier journalist Jolan Atwell said, good reporting holds power to account and celebrates our most inspiring people. On its day, it is the greatest job of the world. 
You do hold us to account. You do ask us awkward questions, but we are so grateful that you are with us.